I just retired in December after 33 years of service, uh, active duty and reserves. Uh, the military significantly informs a lot of what I write right now. Um, you know the, the saying, write what you know. Well, a lot of what I know right now relates back to my experience in the military. Um, my thesis project for my MFA was a collection of essays responding to the query of what, what was it like? What was it like on guard duty? What was it like in Iraq? What was it like on a convoy? I, I have a whole series of different essays that answer this question. Uh, so that is certainly well informed by the experience because it drove the plot of one of my books, so to say. Other aspects that are more intangible though is one of the things I'm really good at is I got two days and I've got to write 5,000 words, I could do that. If, I, if you, you hand me an assignment and I'm the writer for it, no time to do it, I will be able to zone everything out and meet that deadline. I'm, we're really good in the military about meeting deadlines because no matter what, you will cross the phase line at that time with your convoy and not one minute before or one minute after, you will be on time because things, bad things happen if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. So we're good at deadlines, we're good in crisis. Now some of the other things that the, my experience has informed me with when I went, I've been to three different war zones. I've been under mortar fire, I had to respond to a chemical attack in the first Gulf War, I can handle crisis. So I'll be able to make a decision, see a plan, when the plan doesn't work, do something else, and in the, in, as a writer, that comes up as an independent author. I can make a plan, but all these things are gonna happen when I try to publish my book, which all these things did happen when I tried to publish my book. Uh, and I could have just, I give up, but instead, you see it through. But one of the things that, that being in the military taught me was know what your priorities are. No one is, everything is a crisis, but not everything is a crisis that's important in life. And you, you have to figure out what the priorities are. And for me, after having been to a few combat zones and having been away from my family for a long time and, and where a decision literally is a life and death decision, I know what's important. What's important is my family, my kids, then everything else. What's important to me is taking time to be present when I interact with another human being. So, you know, my cat comes in to see me and for one minute I am focused on my cat. My three-year-old wants to come see me while I'm working and I will stop the computer, we'll watch two cat videos on YouTube and she's happy and she goes away. I have time, no matter how much time there is, I will take that moment with you. You know, here at the Writers' Conference, someone wants to talk to me and I'm, on my, I'm late to get somewhere. I will take that moment with that person because what is really important in life is the relationships that we have with people. And whether I do that as a speaker or I do that as a teacher or I do that as a writer on the page, I want to be focused on who I'm with in the moment because I don't know where I'm going to be later and if I'm staying in the past, I'll never get to where I'm going. Please review our other available content for help writing, publishing, and marketing your book. If you have any questions about the Author Learning Center, please contact us by email at authorsupport at authorlearningcenter.com.